First, we will be point. What's a point? A point is a small dot. Next, it will be line segment. When any two points join with a line, it is called a line segment. See, the two points and a line joins them. Line segment. Line. A line can extend from both ends. It can't be measured. It is endless. See the two arrows here. This is a sign for endless. Next, ray. A ray has a starting point but not an end point. It also can't be measured. Line can also not be measured and ray cannot be measured. See, this is the starting point and it extends extends endlessly. So, example will be sun and its ray extending. Okay. Now, I will ask questions to you on based on this. So, let's start. What is a line segment? I'll give you two seconds to answer. One, two. A line segment is a line which joins Two points. Next, I will be asking you, what is a ray? One, two. A ray is a line that has one starting point and not the end point. Very nice. You have passed the quiz. Next, we will be learning about ang angles. What are angles? When two rays meet at a point, an angle is formed. See, like this, an angle will be formed. These are our rays, and the two rays, and here is the point which they meet. The rays will be named as arms, and this point will be named as vertex. The point where the rays meet is called the vertex and the rays are called the next we will be learning about exterior and interior of an angle so let's start about see we have a b c x y c is our vertex these will be the exterior because they are the at the outer side of my angle and z it will be the interior because it is inside the angle. See, it is also explained here. Z is the integer because it is inside the angle. A, B, C, X, Y are the exterior because they are outside the angle. Next, we will be learning types of angles. What are types of angles? Types of angles can be acute, right? Obtuse, straight, reflex, complete. Okay, so let me tell you about acute angle. Acute angle's measure is always less than 90 degree. It is made like this. See, the beak is smaller. It is the beak is like this. Angle is always formed at like a shape of this. Except for 90 degree, which is right angle, which we will be learning now. Right angle's measure is exactly 90 degree. It is formed like a L shape, like this. Here are the extending points. Okay. Next will be obtuse angle. What is obtuse angle? Its measure is more than 90 degree, but less than 180 degree. Its shape is formed like this. See, in the right angle, the beak is just exactly in the L shape. And in the obtuse angle, the beak is opened like this. See, I'll make it straight as well. Okay, it is opened. Next, we will be learning about straight angle. Straight angle has no beak. Its measure is exactly 180 degree. It is formed like a straight line. Okay. Very nice. Next, we will be learning about more two angles. Reflex and complete. Okay. 
Reflex angle is the is an important angle. How I will tell you. Its measure is more than ninety degree but less than three sixty degree. It is formed like this. Now remember thing that we have learned acute, right, obtuse. Okay. Reflex angle cannot be measured. Remember this point. And the outer portion of these each angles will be named as reflex. Okay. Okay. What is a complete angle? Whose measure is exactly three sixty degree? A complete circle. Okay. Next, we will be learning about circles. But before that, I will have a quiz for types of angles and what are angles. Okay. So we will ask questions about this. What is an angle? I'll give you five seconds to answer this question. One, two, three, four, and five. Time is up, and I will. Okay. I will be asking about types of angles. What is an angle? And I will give three seconds for answering this question. One, two, and three. Time is up, and I will answer now. Acute angle is a type of angle whose measure is less than ninety degree. Very nice. Now I will ask, what is a complete angle? One, two, and three. Time is up. And I will answer now. A complete angle is a type of angle whose measure is exactly three sixty degree. A complete circle. Last question, but not the least. I will ask you, what is a obtuse angle? Time starts now. One, two, three. Time is up. And now I will tell the answer. The answer is obtuse angle is a type of angle. Whose measure is more than ninety degree but less than one eighty degree. So now we will be learning our next topic. Circle. What is a circle? A circle has no sides and no vertex. A circle is just like this. See, it has no sides and no vertex. Okay. Next, we will be learning what a circle is made of. A circle is made up of mainly one, two, three, four, six things: center, radius, diameter, arc, and circumference. First, we will be starting with center. Center is the midpoint of any circle. Now we will be learning circumference. Circumference is my boundary of the circle. Radius. When see this is the center, and when a line segment joins it till the circumference, it is known as a radius. Now diameter. What is a diameter? When two radius, when two radius meet at the center, it is known as a diameter. Chord. When any two points join, suppose this point is A, this point is B. So this will be a chord. Arc. What is a arc? Any portion of the circumference will be named as arc. Remember that diameter is only a type of chord, but it only joins till the center. Now I will tell you all about those here: arc, radius, diameter, chord, circumference. Okay, very nice. Now I will ask questions about circle. Okay, I will open this page so you can see the answers. Okay, so I will ask types of circles. What is arc? I will give you four seconds to answer. One, two, three, four. Time is up, 
and I will tell the answer now. The answer is arc is a type of in a circle. Arc will be known as when any portion of the circumference. Okay. Next, we will be asking that what is a radius? Your time starts now. One, two, three, four. Time is up. And the answer will be radius is a line segment which comes from the center and joins till the circumference. You have done very well. Clappings for you. Bye-bye. See you soon.